everyone. Today I am going to be doing a USB-C mod on this PS4 controller. It's only a little bit retro. I mean, it's one one whole generation out of out of date, but that's okay. Uh, so what I did is I bought on Tindy. I'll post the link in the description. Uh, one of these little adapters here that simply takes the the old one out, which looks something like this, and replaces it with this new one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going on this. I mean, this one's pretty straightforward. There's a whole four screws on the back. And then the whole shell kind of just pops open. And then we take the little board out. And then we got to do some uh, shaving of the old port so this new one will fit. And then slap the new one in. Let's see. So that's pretty, pretty quick and straightforward. Four little screws here. Set them aside, and then I kind of just pull and pop this. Uh, various people have said that there's uh, different clips in here that are you know, sure to break. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so first thing is we're gonna pop that out. All right, and this is where this one's gonna differ a little bit from my other one. This one's got two pads here and two screws. Oh, lots more screws. So not only two screws there, but two screws here. There's somewhere else, so I know what's what. Now this one definitely has two of these. Oh, there we go. All right. And these two, put them in an order as well. comes out and then this whole board will come out and it's taped on by this adhesive here Okay, we're gonna save this, set it aside, because we're gonna attach it to our new piece here in a minute. But we've got to shave this down in here and the square this whole out. So 
I will end up using, I've got a square file. Once we got the hole the right size, we can take our new piece here. I'm gonna take our old one, pull that out. And on the new one, there's a little little bale you flip here. And it goes, come on, silver side down. Just insert it nice and tight and flip that down. And it shouldn't come out anymore. And then this, you kind of just stick face first down in there. And there we go. Sits in there nice and tight. And then we can put the screws back in. So, now I've got to put my little springs back together, uh, so I will get that kind of put back together. I'll put these all up, and then I will cut to the video of the actual USB-C. But that's what it looks like for now. We'll get it put back together. Okay, now that we've got this all put together, we've got our fancy USB port. Got my little digital tester here. And we plug this in. And this turns yellow, indicate it's charging. And my little tester says it's using half an amp, so two and a half watts. I mean, it's flying, but it is working. Uh, something note on my Mac when I was messing with it, kept doing funny things on my Mac because it was paired to it while I was working on it because I had plugged it in and auto paired. But anyway, that's how we get a USB C port on our PS4 controller. Thanks for watching.